unbelievable again. Just unbelievable. So Colorado State, Jay Norvell, the failed coach that he is, brings up a situation. I keep telling y'all why they hate Deion Sanders and Colorado for football team i keep bringing it up and you guys don't want to listen at least the real ones are listening jay norvell brought up a situation with colorado football team he said they're tired of hearing what uh dion and them are saying and they know the rest of the world is tired too you see how he plays this race thing and you guys don't have to believe me i'm going to put the article link in the description box this time. And he's trying to play race, black versus white, white versus black. He brings it about in front of a national uh, um, televised show and talks about Deion Sanders. He's like, you know, when I come and speak in front of grownups, I take off my hat and I take off my glasses. That's what my mom taught me. So you're not only throwing shots at Deion Sanders, you're throwing shots on his on his parents as well, the way his mom raised him. You're trying to say your white mother raised you better than the black man's black mother. We all can read around it, bro. And what's up with your animosity towards a man that said nothing about you? Colorado football team has been getting attacked by everybody, including people from their own state of Colorado, which is Colorado State football, which is also a losing program. But we're not going to get into that yet. It is about race, and it's only about race. What's up with the animosity towards Deion Sanders and their football team when they don't say anything about nobody? The only people you hear Deion Sanders ever speaking about is the clowns and the naysayers that he's responding to. See, Jay Norvell is like any other typical racist around there, typical dude using agendas to make Deion Sanders look like the bad guy versus good guy, the angel versus the devil. This is a typical formality that people have been using it for decades upon decades and upon decades and jay norvell norvell when you are a failed coach the only tactics you have is to go at prime so Deion sanders responds to him he's like you coming at my mom you coming at my character what's up with you bro he didn't say it in that word verbatim but he did say now that's an attack on my mother too which it is what intelligent person didn't know and clearly colorado state that is their fans knew that Colorado State's head coach, Jay Norvell, was throwing shots at Colorado Buffalo's uh, football coach, Deion Sanders. And it's cowardly, man. I would never want my kids to play for a coach who thinks like that. He thinks his, uh, his upbringing is more superior than black people's upbringing because they always go to the great old American pie way. They never stick to the X's and O, never sticks to validated reasons of their anger. His anger is only all of us, including the whole world, is mad at Dion. He literally uttered this out. Why could the world be mad at Dion? Hmm, it's only one reason. What Jay Norvell means to say is a complexion of protection of people who looks like him and have his complexion. They're not happy with Dion. They're mad that he's not a good old boy. In fact, he called Dion invertedly a boy by saying things like, my mom you know, taught me how my mom taught me to take off my glasses and how, as if Deion Sanders is a little boy because he uttered the word grownups when I'm in front of grownups. So is Deion Sanders a little boy? Deion said it himself, I'm a grown man. That's his response to Jay Norvell. I'm a grown man. He uttered some other words in there that we can't say for the YouTube guidelines. Every single one of these coaches are looking to, are looking to pick a fight with Deion, looking to bring a situation that never had nothing to do with nothing to make it look like it's a rage or it's engaged with Dion and, and themselves. And, and it's really a hype job. When you're a failed coach and you can't coach through strategies and X's and O's, the next best thing is the clickbait. The next best thing is to pretend Dion and the Colorado football team been talking a lot to you guys. So now you get the rebuttal when that's not the case at all. Jay Norvell literally said, we're just tired of it. We're tired of it. Sounds like a bitch. You're tired of what? Dion has never mentioned you guys, never even thought about you guys. And believe me, the whole world can vouch for me. Dion has yet to look at you guys on the schedule and go, yup, we, we got to deeply go against Jay Norvell with a grudge. No, now they have a grudge against you because you're one of these other 
peons who continue to feel uncomfortable with a black man at a high position like that and a black man finally winning. You barely have any black coaches. You got ones like Mel Tucker facing those allegations that we're not going to even get into because people like to pick sides and have professional victims. But you barely have any that's on the college scene or on any level of that to say the least, not even the NFL level. And it makes all these people for the complexion of the protection that uncomfortable. Jesus Christ. One beautiful thing I love about the military, no matter what ethnicity, race, and creed, dudes are going to get together regardless of the views, religion, any of that, because I have to depend on you to save my life and you have to depend on me to save your life. So when you see clowns and scrubs like Jay Norvell, you can tell he was a little weasel in class going to the teacher that was Cray Sean who took the pencil. Like, he was a little wuss, bro. Like, to make a fake lie and say, I'm just tired of it. I'm just, just tell the truth, Jay Norvell. You're tired of seeing a black man be a uppity Negro. The ones you don't like seeing like that. Can we be honest about it? And Dion even said it too. He's tired about what? We don't mention any of these guys. I'm the same way too. I'm sitting back like the, the Lee Corsos, the Tom Lugan Bill. The um, Paul Finnebaum, all these guys have, the, and Greg Malcolm Moore, uh, McElroy, Josh Pay. I can keep naming these guys, and they all have the complexion of protection. And it's like they all have this reasoning of, of hatred. And it's another one who's passive aggressive. They call him Aaron Murray, used to play out here in Tampa, and now he went to Georgia and be balled out at Georgia and then got drafted by the Kansas City Chiefs, but so much ACL injuries towards that knee. He never developed in the NFL, but he's always rooting against Deion Sanders in Colorado football, and he's finding weird strategic as if why they're going to badly lose. And it's always a pie in his face, yet he never apologized, never say he's wrong. He he doubles and triple downs on it like the rest of them because it's not about X and O, man. It is about race, unfortunately. And I want the whole world to see what's going on. Pay attention to everybody who's upset with Dion. Has Dion said anything to them? No. Has he been disrespectful to anybody? No. They want a black man to be very humble and they want him to be submissive in a sub suburbity uh, situation towards them. They want him to just be Yasama. Yeah, good balls, good boy, like all that type of you know, buffoonery, and Dion ain't one for it. He has the credentials more than your favorite coaches of complexion of protection. He has the accolades. He has all that. He has proven on the high school level, college level, that he can coach. I mean, what more do you want from a guy like Prime? To see Jay Norvell not galvanize his troops the right way, but through a farce and a propaganda to, to help him, it shows me how these these coaches are insecure and they're really minuscules nothing compared to the rest of the world. This is going to keep going on and you got to well expect it, man. Look, I'm your guy, DJ Bless One. Love your family, love your kids and stay blessed. This is unacceptable. And, and ESPN were the group of people who helped Jay Norvell you know, do this type of interview. They were the group of people who helped them sit down and have this interview. And I told you guys, ESPN has an agenda against Deion Sanders and Colorado football team. You don't have to believe me, but the agenda is set and Deion keeps ruining their plans every time. The Feldwater brand known as ESPN. Listen, ESPN, they're not coming anymore. They're here.